Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is DNS denial of service vulnerabilities. Today, ISC, the creators of Bind, which is a popular Linux-based DNS server, released an update to fix three denial of service vulnerabilities that affect Bind version 9.10.3 slash P3 and below. I won't go into a ton of detail about these three different denial of service vulnerabilities other than if you suffer from them, attackers may not be able to resolve your host name until you restart your bind server. I'll give you an example of one of them though. One of the vulnerabilities has to do with DNS cookies. Uh, DNS cookies are kind of optional source identity tokens that allow you to keep track of different clients that are making DNS queries to your server. And the idea is to have kind of a low authentication method of making making sure that somebody can't spoof many different DNS queries and thus cause distributed denial of service attacks using your DNS server. In any case, if an attacker can send your bind DNS server a packet with specially crafted cookies in it, he can actually exploit this vulnerability to cause name D, which is the actual DNS daemon, to stop responding to new client queries, which means you won't be able to respond to any DNS queries anymore and this could cause big problems. Now typically, denial of service vulnerabilities in clients are not that big a deal, but a denial of service vulnerability in an important server, especially the DNS server, which your whole uh, organization relies on for name resolution, is a pretty big deal. So long story short, if you use bind, you're going to want to update to the latest version, which seems to be 9.10.3 slash p4. If you check out the blog post associated with this video, I'll put a reference to uh, bind's vulnerability matrix where you can find more information about these alerts. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.